So I've kind of been letting this painting sit because I'm not sure where I want to go with it and I really want it to pop more than it is. I mean it is lovely but I think I need to make this area pop a little bit more and what I think I'm going to try, and this is experimental, you know, I'm learning along with you guys sometimes, so, um, and that's okay, that's what painting's about and sometimes you have to be willing to make some mistakes to learn. And what I think I need to do is put a dark green over this so that um, this red pops and also this white pops out and I, I just want it darker, I think that's what it needs. I'm just kind of playing, and you kind of have to look at painting as play. You don't want to take it too seriously, but at the same time you want to take it seriously enough that, um, you know, you're learning and making it look good, but at the same time not, not being so serious about it that you don't allow yourself mistakes, because if you don't make mistakes, really you're not going to learn. That's how you learn, unfortunately. Not lots and lots of mistakes so don't feel bad if something doesn't come out it's funny I mean I still I've been painting for 10 years now and sometimes my paintings look like um, <laughs> a very young person did them instead of an artist who has been painting for 10 years and that's okay that's sometimes you actually want that because that means you're learning and I think this is going to be too green. I'm not even, I don't really like this, but I'm just going to commit to this and just see where it takes me because worst case scenario, I just won't like this painting. I'm um, using a mix of um, ultramarine blue and a really dark green tube color and then I'm adding some transparent yellow and this is kind of pretty actually. I think I'm going to add more blue. This is a really dark blue. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I'll try to find out for you guys. And then these darker edges over here, I'm either, even going to carry the, water, the color a little bit into the bird so it doesn't look like a cutout as much. And scrumble, scrumble, scrumble. Look how I'm just scrumbling right over that edge. No mercy, okay? And you want to do that with some part of your subject, whether it's a bird, cat, dog, whatever. Um, you, that really will help make it look more professional because it'll attach the bird to the background. And I guess it's because that's kind of how the eye works. Where the eye focuses, there's sharp edges, edges there's defined areas, and then the peripheral vision kind of blurs out. And if you can recreate that effect in a painting, it'll naturally show the eye where to go and do that work for the brain. And then I'm going to scrumble over this edge too. See, I'm just going right over the bird and the background just to kind of blend it all together right there. No shame. Just going for it, okay? And that'll help attach the bird there. Um, I want to make this even darker right through here. Then I'll, again, no shame, under his beak where it's black anyway. Um, going in there and scrumbling right over the edge. Okay. And that is quite a bit darker than what we started with, so I'll let that dry and we'll see what we get.